From the morning of 18th till the morning of 20th of November, Moon will be in Capricorn zodiac sign, and because Moon will be in Capricorn, uh, Moon will experience the energy of Saturn, which is second from the Moon. Therefore, Moon will be more concerned about your financial security. What else? If you observe on these two dates, 18th, 19th. and early 20th mars and sun are extremely close to each other therefore mars goes under deep combustion and what is capricorn a zodiac sign where sun gets directional strength mars becomes exalt and therefore it is a sign of war masculinity it's a sign of performance and when moon goes there you are more concerned about your performance in life your career related issues your financial matters so you might see that uh, some policy changes some global impacts or matters or, or 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 some decisions taken by the senior members in your own family or the decision taken by your own ego that means when you take do something out of aggression can cause financial problems and insecurities and unsettled vibe at home so it is better that you focus on fundamentals focus on basics and this is that not the time to exert the power or authority rather this is the time to be humble grounded and uh, you go in a very methodical manner because the moment you take that drastic step things may create mental problems for you from 20th till 22nd of november moon will be in the zodiac sign of aquarius where there is a direct saturn what this shows is that you might feel uh, more aligned towards matters in your life and you can for some you can also feel depressed now why is this happening if you see that when moon went into capricorn sun and mars were at the same degree therefore the the combustion of mars was deep still the combustion is deep because there is not much of a separation between sun and moon Ma sun has hardly started to separate with mars but venus is approaching ketu and venus is approaching ketu 8th from this position of moon that means uh, your responsibilities may overshadow your passion your you can be overwhelmed by what you have on the plate and, and therefore this can uh, make you more concerned about your life or it can make life dull and boring Uh, mechanical oriented like you're doing things for the sake of doing it but there is no charm especially the uh, horoscopes which are saturn dominated horoscopes will be affected more by this and and horoscopes which are more energetic which are mars and sun oriented might experience a sudden slowdown in their life don't worry it's just a matter of time it's a phase uh, this is a bad time for relationship or any uh initiatives that you want to take related to relationship because venus is now approaching very close to ketu so be careful on that uh i have made i have discussed a lot about this venus and ketu and relationship matters uh, in a podcast the link will be in the description box below you can check that out uh you should chant om namah shivaya every day at least for 108 times and meditate uh for at least good 10 15 minutes and go a bit slow don't rush now uh, career related concerns or if it is a matter related to your designation if it's a matter related to your post position if it's a matter related to a problem created by a boss or supervisor it is better to first calm your nerves and take one step at a time because if you show a knee jerk reaction your mind is blocked by by the energies of saturn and you won't be able to uh, you know move as swiftly as you want rather saturn says follow the law follow the path of discipline so do that also your hormonal health can uh, readjust and can create problems especially if you are prone to that so be mindful of that from the afternoon of 22nd of november till the afternoon of 24th of november moon will be in pisces zodiac sign experiencing the energies of rahu on the far side now when moon enters the pisces pisces is a water zodiac sign but there is rahu that means there is something either very ferocious 
so you are scared of something in the future or there is an illusion so you are running for some hope and this time is going to amplify that especially if it's a matter related to relationship you can fall into the wrong talks wrong behavior and there is a chance of financial fraud especially if rahu is extremely malefic in your birth chart so what should you do you should focus on fundamentals be ready to differentiate between what you want and what you need in life chant vishnu sahastra naam a lot and donate certain amount of money to someone who is in need not a great time for marriage or relationship because this venus and ketu approaching to each other each other and moon approaching rahu actually destroys the feminine side of life so rather this can take away the softness from life and bring in lot of harshness but on the other side this is a very good time for creative professionals and spiritual people because what this is going to do is give you a very different perspective in life and can tell you the other story of the other side it's a great time for people who are involved into psychology healing astrology and related therapies ninth house sun and mars along with mercury in scorpio zodiac sign shows that if you do proper research and if you go to a temple do some mantra jap your mind will be in a much calmer position and do not overestimate the resource that you have and don't be over confident from the evening of 24th till the evening of 26th moon will be in aries zodiac sign moon will cross the boundary of devati and ashwini gandanta it will carry the rahu's energy and suddenly it will encounter jupiter so all the decisions that you have taken in the last 3 4 days may be reversed during this time your enthusiasm may be killed by the reality that the jupiter will bring it for you also there can be some hurdles some obstacles that you will now start to see that will alter the plans that you have made maybe you were too enthusiastic but you missed some detail and that those details will now surface and uh, you may have to shift so if you are flexible if you are not too rigid about your plans about decisions in your life then it's okay but someone who cannot change can fall during this time so always give a room of room for error always give some buffer whether you are working with a deadline or you are uh, you, you want to do something related to your health do not overestimate anything always understand that there will be deviations in life and be very practical and grounded it's a very good time for students it's a very good time for people who are into medical professional uh, doctors medicine professionals pharmaceutical uh industry related people who are into research of medicine who are into science and who are teachers who are professors mentors it's a very good time for them but also uh, this is the time especially on 25th when Ju moon will be very close to jupiter but venus will be too close to ketu this means there will be few reality that might hit you hard you might learn something about maybe about yourself maybe about an event a such circumstance or a person that may make you redefine in your mind the decisions that you have made or the definition of the very person that you are connected to connected with so overall it's a time of uh, of change of learning so be ready to unlearn and relearn a lot in your life from the night of 26th in the very early hours of 29th as per indian standard time moon will be exalted in taurus but the ruler of taurus which is venus will be fifth from the moon in virgo with ketu now when venus and ketu are approaching very close to each other the all the happiness of the moon can only come if moon is ready to sacrifice moon is ready to unlearn and relearn moon is ready to uh work on the knowledge moon is ready to become a student once again that means your mind is ready to become a student once again moon is also going to encounter a direct impact of sun and mars right from the 7th house 
which means definitely this is a time where you will focus on yourself rather than on your on the relationship now if you are in a toxic relation if you are into a relation that is not supportive then it's a very good thing because you are focusing diverting your focus on yourself and you are growing you are developing you are upgrading yourself updating yourself but if the relationship is good and you're still doing it what might happen is that the pressure cannot be handled by the mind and on one side your mind will be desperate to take the relief the root of relief whereas the life will want to to take the root of responsibility and this tug of war is going to create problems uh, especially this can create issues with your siblings and uh, or between uh, your own children they may fight among each other which will uh, kind of trouble you a lot and you will choose not to look at the fight because uh, that makes you uncomfortable see the thing is why are you trying to make yourself comfortable that has to be uh, understood on a case to case basis for a person this can be a good thing for another person this can be a bad thing but on a blanket level what you should do is do not ignore your responsibility but also focus on yourself that is the message moon wants to do give you when it is in the sign of taurus and uh, health of your mother can be affected during this time also take care of your gut health and hormonal health from the morning of 29th till the morning of 1st of december from 29 november till 1st of december moon will be in gemini now when moon is in gemini mercury will be in sagittarius aspecting the moon so you will depend a lot on the feedback that you will get from the other people maybe the feedback from your spouse or maybe you will have to listen a lot there there is a battle between your mother and your and your wife or your mother or your father and your husband this battle is where you will be caught which side will you take why because venus and ketu venus will be crossing the ketu between 29th and 1st so ketu is going to rip the venus apart which is your 12th house and your 5th house and therefore it shows dharm sankat that means both the path seems to be correct it's like choosing between heart and brain heart, uh, which will you, which which one will you choose you lose one and you die same similar events may happen especially if you are born with gemini ascendant moon sign if you are into the pla- mahadasha of the planet that is in gemini mercury mahadasha you are born in mercury nakshatra or if you have moon and mercury connection in your birth chart this is what the theme will be so this is the time when you will have to learn from your own experience things will make you uncomfortable but rely on proper data don't believe in everything but focus only on data and this is the time when if you go by the book and when i say go by the book means go by the process what should be done not by what you want you will see that you will come out clean and you will be much more happy and also you will be satisfied with the way you have dealt the situation see when moon is in gemini there will be a day which is uh, basically from the evening of 29 the 30th of november when moon will be in ardra nakshatra now ardra is a very chaotic nakshatra and if you see uh, rahu will be in the 10th house from the moon so mind will be more worried so the worry may be much more than the problem it's more like anticipation of the problem be careful otherwise this can create psychological issues i'm not saying this will happen to everyone maybe it will happen to 10% but everyone will be affected but the degree of variation will be different someone will be affected much higher but someone will be affected little less someone will be affected uh, some event may happen that will change the whole life but to another person the similar event will happen but can only uh, hurt you in your dreams it can it can create bad dreams and create nightmares best thing is that if you help someone in need if you make somebody very happy give toys to children that's the really good remedy and also chanting the mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya will help you